What's up guys, it's your girl Mariah Corinne and today I'm coming to you with a how to style your TWA aka yo teeny weeny afro aka yo curls. So we're not going to waste any time, we're just going to get straight into it. Um, I like to use the um, most deaf mousse. Um, it is like my favorite product for my curls right now. It gives them great definition, but it doesn't leave like a hard feeling. I've been trying out the Big Papa gel that's in the same line. Um, that does leave a bit of a harder cast, um, but it does allow my, my style to last longer. So we ain't gonna complain. So here, I just put a little bit of leave-in that I had in, um, and I'm going through with the mousse and saturating the hair. So now the fun part, um, I'm just going by feeling and I'm finger coiling my hair. Obviously it's short, so it's not taking me that long. I think in total the process took me maybe 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm just no particular rhyme or reason, no particular sectioning. I actually like to have them kind of scattered and more of like all over the place because then that helps prevent there from being gaps. Um, where you can see your scalp through the curls just because my hair is so short at the moment So yeah, I'm just kind of going around and I am swirling and twirling those curls around my finger and I mean essentially you're just gonna do this around your whole head And that's it, you know, I mean it's it's really pretty easy One thing that I found to be a helpful tip is to not saturate my whole head with the mousse all at once, but to go in sections. So you saw that I started with that kind of bottom third quadrant, if you want to think of your head in like one, like thirds. So I did the first third, now I'm working on the second, and then once I get to the front, I will go ahead and then saturate the front with foam. And that's just because I want the product to be fresh on my hair when I'm actually getting ready to twist it. I don't want my hair to dry out before I actually get a chance to style the curls. Now working my way towards the front of my head, I am being more strategic about how I'm placing the curls. My hair does like to swirl in a certain direction and if you're a curly girl, you'll know what I mean. Like you can tell the way your hair naturally wants to curl, whether it's like to the right or the left. So I am like coiling it to frame my face um, and to get the curls to lay the way I want them to lay for the cut that I have. Honestly, it's gonna be different for each individual you'll know what you like you'll learn as you play with your hair and you continue to style it you'll see what works for your face shape and you'll see what enhances your natural beauty So now the piece of resistance, okay? When you have a shortcut, I feel like it needs a little oomph. So I like to throw a little side part in there, a little side part action. Some people like their part really straight. I particularly like mine with a little curve in it, you know, so more of a U shape. So here I'm just carving out that part so I can have, you know, one side of the curls lay one way and then we're gonna slick the other side back the other way. And again, that just goes along with, you know, framing the curls to fit your face. Even though it's short, that does not mean that it can't be fun, all right? We're going for like complementing your natural features here. So figure out what works for you. If you have questions, then feel free to take a picture of yourself and send it to me and I'll help you get it right. We're, we're gonna get it together. We are in this as a team. Short Hair Girls Unite.
and bam there's the final result this is the next day i did take the diffuser to my head to dry it just a little bit because y'all know it's cold outside but it looks good the curls are healthy they're luscious they're vibrant they're moisturized i hope this was helpful i will see y'all in my next video remember jesus loves you he only made one you so make sure you complete the calling over y'all life have a great week